Hello, and welcome back to the Moose Man. So, we're done with the game, the initial playthrough, the first playthrough, and now it's on to the collecting and achieving and completionisming. But we'll see how this all works, because I'm not entirely sure how I want to go about doing this. So, if we go into continue, obviously I still have my save, but I also have all of my collection items and myths. But I'm kind of wondering, if I just start a new game, will it delete the old save data? And... or will I just have all my collection items still? Because I'm not sure I even want to have all the collection items, because then I, I have, actually have to remember which ones I... Okay, let's, let's jump into it and, and I'll explain more. I should be able to skip the cutscene, I'm pretty sure. I think they let you do that. Oh fuck, no, I forgot we uh we were gonna stop, stop. I forgot we were gonna read the uh ending cutscene. Damn. Uh yeah, let's let's do that first. Yeah, have to redo this part, but yeah, I, I didn't read aloud the conclusion to the story, so I'm just gonna quickly do that before we actually get into the game. Like all the hunting and stuff. Sorry about that. I should have like thought about this beforehand and just gotten to the very end before I even started. He sneaked past Osh, the guardian, cunning as a bear, and through the underworld dark did he walk with the dead. He took a flaming bit from Shondi, hid it from Vorsa and Vakul. On a mighty cars he brought it to the upper world. Apparently that was the bird we rode on. Here on the peak of creation the sun was extinguished, and then among the pine trees one of spirits will be chosen and one of seven brothers will walk through all the worlds again. Each ancient song has an end, and there is a tale in our, in our tribe, how with dawn the parma glitters, how the sun in the sky is burning, how the great moose man walks along his path each day. Wait, so... What we just did was not, like, a, a special thing? Was that just, like, the everyday let's get the sun to rise and wake up kind of thing? I don't even know. I, I didn't quite catch that. Uh, can I skip the credits? Apparently not. But I can just exit out, that's fine. Alright, so now, now we can actually jump in and just try to start the game. And we'll just see what happens. I am pretty sure I'll have the, uh... What? I thought you could skip cutscenes. I was almost certain you could skip cutscenes. Didn't I skip a cutscene at some point? Continue. Nope. I was almost convinced I did that. And was like, oh, cool, you can skip cutscenes. Very good game. Maybe you cannot skip them... Like, maybe you can only skip them the, uh after the first time you see them. And since I'm doing start and not continue, it doesn't count. It doesn't think I've seen it before? I don't know, that's actually kind of weird and unfortunate. Alright, so here we go. Now, I still have all my things, as I thought. Yeah, so the problem with this is that now, I have to like... I can see that I've missed the second one. But I can't just, like... So if we go left here, I'm pretty sure I can find the first one. Right here. But then I couldn't just collect it and then go in here and have a uh, an exclamation mark, right? Like, that wouldn't happen, I'm pretty sure. No, it doesn't, like, update this. So it's kind of... 
if I just collect one and then don't notice which one it was I just collected, then I won't know if I missed one or not, or if I missed more than one, or... I don't know. I think I might try to just replay the entire thing and wipe my data, because I just tested that before recording and saw that that was a thing. So, that was just a little bit of an experiment. I'm just gonna go out to the main menu again, and uh, I'll just be right back. I'll just reboot the game, and we'll do a clean slate. Because I feel like that's gonna be a lot easier. Assuming I can still skip cutscenes, I hope I can. I really thought you could do that. But yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. I might have done something interesting. Let's see here. If I just start here... And then check my... Aha! They had stored all of the collections and stuff separately. So I could just move the collectibles file and start out here. That's pretty convenient. I'll, I'll do that. That helps out quite a bit. So, now, I did have a couple things to mention. So if we go in here... Uh, and I just, I need to open up my achievements. Oh, and the walkthrough, in case I need it, I'll have the walkthrough open. But I have a couple of achievements left to get, and I just want to go over them quickly. And I know you probably can't see them unless DxTory just randomly decides to record today. Probably won't, but uh, uh, record the, the Steam overlay, I mean. But we have four achievements left to get, and... There's nothing, like, really special about them. It seems like I got pretty much all of the achievements that are actually... Like, actually separate from just completing the game 100% and finding all the collectibles. Because there's one that is Riddles in the Dark, solving the Ice Crystal Riddle in the Underworld. And then one that is Vorsa Sanctuary, solve the Riddle of Vorsa Sanctuary. And that's, like, the Icicle thing or Ice Crystal thing, and then the Totem Pole thing. That both, they both kind of worked the same way, as far as I could tell, I just couldn't figure them out. So, those are two, like, achievements, apparently, so I guess those puzzles are really the biggest ones, and I guess it's not that weird that I couldn't figure them out if, if they're that significant. And then there's one where you have to find all of the artifacts among Mangonth, Mangonth's tusks. God, that's annoying to say. So apparently I missed at least one of the, uh, the artifacts inside all the bones and all that stuff, so that's again, just find a collectible that I missed there. And then the final one is just find all the artifacts. So there's nothing like different, like finding the secret cow level or anything like that. I guess that's also just a uh, collectible really when it comes down to it. So no, nothing. I don't need to like actually look at the achievements at any point. I'll just get them if I actually do all the collectibles. So, just thought I would mention that. So, achievements are not going to be, like, a significant thing. But now, if we just go and collect this collectible... Oh! Hey, look! You can... I just tested it out. You can actually uh, enter the spirit thing right now. I thought you had to, like, wait with that until you actually got to the tree. So, I guess the tree didn't even teach us. It didn't, like, unlock that power. We already had it. It just, like, informed you that you could do it. But, yeah. Oh. Ah, we were on the, the last page. Huh, interesting. So yeah, now I can just uh, click on it to get rid of the exclamation mark, and now we can just continue on. And if I find the third one, I know I've gone too far, and I can go back. So let's see. And yeah, I'm gonna have to be very observant, I think. And I'll try to keep an eye out. Because apparently- oh! don't remember this guy. Hello. Q, what is love playing in the background? What the heck? Huh. And yeah, I've done that. Hmm. Double tap for auto walk, yeah, sure. I see. Oh, I didn't even realize what, like, what that was supposed to teach you. That was supposed to teach you that some obstacles are obstacles in the spirit world, and you need to, uh, like, get rid of them. 
Well, apparently I've already gone too far. Apparently I've already missed it, because right here is where the fish is jumping up. And if we fall down here, that's how you get to the cow level and this secret that I already found. Huh. What? Oh, did I get this from the the tree? Wait, did I already? Like, was it that early? It's not even past the tree? Hold on, let's go back and check that. Wow. Oh, and yeah, the myths are also cleared out. Okay. I actually didn't really want the myths cleared out, but that's fine. We'll get them anyway, just by completing stuff. So, yeah, when you pass the tree, you got this collectible. Wait, did I uh, click on them? Yeah, I did. So, okay, it's somewhere even earlier than this. So, it's something really sneaky. I need to look in the background, I guess, and... Is it something with the, the What is Love guys? That, like, bob their heads? Maybe it's something way back with uh, the guy sitting around the table? Or uh, the bonfire? It's not a table. The, the fire? Hmm. Is it something with, like, their masks? If I go, like, their masks, there's, like, three on the left pointing right, I guess, and three on the right pointing left, I guess? So if we do, like, right, 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 Left, left, left? No. Nope, that's not it. Well, as I said, I do have the walkthrough ready, so I guess I'll probably need it. Huh. Oh, is it these guys? No. Like, this guy would be up, right? And then that guy, I can't even see him. He would be down. And then this guy would, would be left. But that doesn't work. Unless it continues. So, like, up, up, down, left left no wait yeah yeah that would be left no maybe not i don't even know maybe it's just based on like where they're hanging on so it's ah oh, i don't know this is very strange i don't know if i'm onto something wait these like weird things that are floating what are those about hold on i saw one over here are there more like, that guy is flying up there, and he's pointing right. If I go all the way back, can I see one more of those? Oh, and by the way, in case you didn't realize, these episodes are probably going to be way less like progress and more about just... Trying a bunch of stupid shit and trying to find them because I, I really don't want to use the walkthrough unless I can't help it, so I'll probably be trying and wasting a lot of time and not doing too many cuts just like it's it's just completionism stuff, so If you're easily bored now is your time to run So there's that guy flying pointing right this guy flying pointing left does it keep going? Are there more? Nope. That just kind of ended. Huh. I I guess I'm gonna check the walkthrough and see what the heck I'm missing. I'll try to read as little as I can just to see. One of the easiest after the game starts, you, you go back instead of forward. We got that. Number two. You can get the artifact from the tree after the first activation of the mask. That's not number two, though. That's number three, right? Like, that's this one. But I guess number three 
might be the one. Yeah, apparently this guy didn't even find it. He had to, like, someone else gave the info to him. After we got the moose mask, go back and look carefully on the shaman's masks. Okay, I stopped reading there. Let's see what, what that's about. So it is something about the guys on the bonfire, uh, around the bonfire. Okay. Look carefully at their masks. So it might not be where they're pointing. Maybe it's something on the mask that I didn't see. Do they have, like, markings? I didn't notice anything like that. Uh... Uh, I really don't see anything. No markings or anything, except just like, oh, these guys are pointing right, these guys are pointing left. Except the up one, I guess. It's not like... Right, 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 left, up, left? Right, down, right, left, up, left? Right, down, down, left, up, left? No. All right, I guess I'll read one more sentence. It seems that they point on some kind of a direction. Yeah, they do. But okay, but that's what I was trying to do. So is it not? Maybe, it, wait, so right, 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 left, left, left is not correct. Is it maybe a line that's more like the top, the standing ones first, and then the sitting ones. So, right, right, left, left, right, left? No, not even that. Um... Alright, guess I'll read more. It just says right- wait, there's four? Wait. Oh my god, did it include you? Did it include when you started out? Hold on, because there were seven. He did se Oh, no, wrong, wrong, wrong. There was a code right here with seven of them. So hold on. So I count just because I start looking forward? So you have to do one, two, three, four. One, two, three. That wasn't even right. What the heck? It says that, though. It says right four times, then left three times. Two, three, no, wait, stop. Oh, maybe I accidentally auto-walked. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. That was not correct. I don't understand. Is my game bugged? Is something wrong? Maybe you have to walk forward and go to the tree before you can even do it? Probably not, though. Well, I guess we're not even getting a single fucking collectible this episode. Have fun with this video. <laughs> Jeez. I don't even understand. And unfortunately, this is the only walkthrough. Maybe there's a video one on YouTube or something. I guess I can check that out. There's probably a all collectibles YouTube video out. People like doing those kind of things. So I might check that out if I can't figure this out. I mean, not not even figure it out. The, the explanation doesn't even work. It's not like... Hmm. Yeah, because one, two, three, four. One, two, three. And do, you have, do I have to do it like more? One, stop. Two, stop. Three, stop. Four, stop. Left, stop. Left, stop. Left, stop. Doesn't work. What the heck? That is all they say in the walkthrough. I don't understand. I do not understand. All right, let me look up if I can find another tutorial for this. Well, it appears we're shit out of luck. There are no written walkthroughs at all except for that one with the artifacts and 
all the videos on YouTube are just shitty old Let's Plays like mine. There's even people, I fucking hate when people do this, by the way, when they label their shit as a walkthrough. And it's just, it's not a walkthrough. It's just a fucking Let's Play. That's all it is. Plus, in my mind, a walkthrough should not only be like, hey, we're just beating the game. It should be, hey, we're doing everything in the game. Like, it should be comprehensive and complete. But that's just me. I really can't find anything about this this uh, collectible. I have no idea. I don't understand why it's not unlocking for me. I just had an idea, though. Maybe, just maybe, it might be a little bit of bad programming. Let me try this one more time. So, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. No, not bad programming. Okay, I, I just use the actual arrow keys right now and not the W, A, S, and D keys. Just to see if that made a difference in the inputs. Doesn't seem like it. Well, I... We'll experiment a little bit more, and then come back, and if I don't figure it out, I'm honestly just gonna have to leave this one, and see if I can figure it out later on. That's really annoying. Not even the fucking walkthrough is correct. Oh my god. Well... Didn't even have to cut or anything. Apparently, I was just doing it too slowly. Alright, I thought, okay, I have to, like, actually take the steps, like, make sure I don't auto-walk to eat up the input. Apparently that's wrong, apparently you just, like, tap them super quickly, and that works. God damn it. Not a fan of that one, honestly, I think that's a little bit shoddy, shoddily made. Like, for one thing, it's very unfair to count the player when you're spawning in, especially since it's the second one you get, not the first one, if you... If you had this one be the first one, so when you, when you collect the one on the left, that should be this one. And it would tell you, oh, there's one even before that. And the only conclusion you could have is that, okay, it's before you even, like, have the ability to go left, I guess. I don't know, that would make more sense in my mind, but... Oh, well, we're off to a great start. Let's read about this one, at least. And honestly, I'm just gonna leave it there for today. Jeez. Hopefully they... They won't all be this annoying. The Seven. Artistic reconstruction of a rectangular plaque. Original artifact has only four Moosemen figures left intact. The others are missing. Seventh or eighth century from Cherdin district, Permkrai. The number seven is sacred among many religions because it is closely connected to the cycles of the moon calendar. Seven Moosemen depict the cosmology. No, I said that last time. Cosmogony of artifact creators. Okay. But what are these then? And why do they look like fucking horror game monsters? Well, I, I'm gonna leave it here for today. This is gonna be a shitty episode where nothing happens. Sorry about that. But now you know what you're in for if you stubbornly decide to keep watching these. Hopefully I'll at least have some progress in future episodes. That would be cool. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!